is our iMac update for today, which leads us to this blank square. There's been, there's been a lot of speculation about this, a lot of rumors, and, uh, and I get to end them today. We're going to introduce our consumer portable machine. So, we've been working really hard on it, and uh, I hope you like it. So we went to our customers. We went to our consumer and education customers and said, what do you want in a portable? What precisely is it that you want? And we listened very carefully. And when you added it all up, what they wanted was an iMac to go. They loved iMac, and they wanted an iMac to go. Could we make an awesome iMac to go? And we have done that, we hope. So first of all, what are we going to call it? just so we have a name to refer it by. Well, as you know, we, we tend to start our consumer products with the prefix I and our pro products with the prefix power. And we tend to end our desktops with Mac and we tend to end our portables with, with book. So since we're such logical folk, uh, iBook is the name of this product. Now, now what is iBook? Well, as you know, we care a great deal about displays, and displays are never more important than they are in a portable. The display is your window onto your software applications, and it's your window into the internet. And a lot of portables, especially the consumer portables out there, have really poor displays. We want to set the bar even higher. We're putting in a 12.1 inch full TFT display. It's a gorgeous display that is great for not only still images, but moving images and video. And that's a full 800 by 600 resolution with millions of colors. But we didn't stop there. We built in the fastest graphics ever in a portable. Faster, than, faster graphics than you can get in any Wintel portable at any price. Secondly, we have built in a 300 megahertz G3 processor. This thing is really, really fast. It's a rocket ship. As a matter of fact, this thing is the second fastest portable in the world. It is faster than any Wintel portable at any price, and it is second only to our venerable PowerBook. Third thing, we built in a CD-ROM because our customers want to be able to load applications in very easily, and our developers want to be able to sell applications very easily. 32 megabytes of memory, expandable to 160 megabytes, 3.2 gig hard drive, we built in a full complement of communications to this thing, a 56K modem in every single unit, USB in every single unit, and 10-100 Ethernet in every single unit, which is unheard of in the consumer marketplace. And we built in a full-size keyboard. If you've ever tried to type on one of these dinky little keyboards, you know how valuable this is. And then we get the battery life. With all of these features, with this 300 megahertz G3 processor, with this gorgeous 12-inch screen, we still wanted groundbreaking battery life. We wanted battery life so good, you'd never have to buy a second battery. You don't have to bring your charger to school all day long or carry your charger a lot of places that you've had to in the past. And our engineering team has really come through on this. With these incredible features, 12-inch screen, super fast processor, all these communications, we have achieved six-hour battery life on this product. So you've got an all-day battery life product now that you don't have to take the charger with you during the day. And that's what we were shooting for. So that's iBook. And what I'd love to do is show it to you right now. It's really beautiful. This is what it looks like. And it's got some beautiful features on it. First of all, this is the front of it, and this is the back. This is the side. Now, this is made incredibly durably. This is polycarbonate plastic, the stuff they make bulletproof vests out of. 
But we've gone one step further. We've double shot it in rubber all the way around. So what you see in orange is all rubber. It feels wonderful and it makes the unit even safer to travel with. Again, all on the back. When you open it up, it's really beautiful inside. Again, full size keyboard and pointing device, beautiful 12 inch screen. Here's the communications. On this side, the communication port's all on the side. CD-ROM comes out this side. And let me tell you a few other really great things about this. One of the most incredible, it has a handle. And so it has something that no other portable on the market has. But it's also missing something that every other portable has. Notice anything missing? A latch. There's no latch on the iBook. It works like your cell phone to beautifully close and stay closed and yet lift just by your finger. It's really beautiful. And we are going to be offering these in two colors, tangerine and blueberry. And they're both really, really beautiful. Thank you. So. Let me show you some slides on this so you can get a, an even better look. Thank you. Now, so this is what we're up against, remember. This is the number one selling consumer notebook in the world, right? And this is iBook. It's really, really beautiful. This is the front. This is what it looks like open. This is the back, which is even more beautiful than the front of the other guy's computer. This is the side. And again, you can see that double shot rubber cutting across. Let me show you the CD-ROM, how it pops out. Isn't that nice? It just pops out of there. And. Uh, let me show you the other side. This is the communications ports. We've got a modem, Ethernet, and USB coming right out the side. No doors to open or anything else. We've also got the handle, right, which is really nice. And And this is the charger. It's really beautiful. It's this little round thing. You know how you have to wind the cable around the brick now? Not anymore. This thing has a cable wrap built right in it. It's really beautiful. And so, again, we're going to ship iMac in tangerine and blueberry, uh, two wonderful colors. You'll be able to see them out in the booth. They're really, really great. So what are we going to price this at and when is it available? We thought a lot about pricing. You know, with this complement of features, again, iBook is faster than Wintel notebooks that you could pay $3,000, $3,500 for. It's got a beautiful screen on it. It's got communications like Ethernet built in that you'd never find in a consumer notebook. IBM's cheapest consumer notebook is $1,799, but if you really look at something that's comparable in features, it's over $2,000. And we knew we probably could have sold most every one we made for over $2,000. But we decided to price this within reach of our education customers and our consumer customers. We're going to price it at $15.99. Yeah. And, and it'll be available this September in volume. So $15.99 this September in the stores. And you can order them today right on the Apple Store or through your favorite dealer. We are accepting orders as of today on the store and in the channel. So this is iBook. And it's, it's really great. And what I'd love to do, uh, and, and of course, this completes our product matrix. right? We finally now have all four products in the grid. And we're going to be shipping all four of them by September. And, uh, we're really excited about this. But there's one more thing.
This is our product strategy that we announced about two and a half years ago, the four quadrants. And it served us very well. We filled them all in and we've even had a chance to go around and update most of them two or three times each to constantly keep them fresh and aggressive. But today, the first time in two and a half years, we are expanding our product strategy. And it's not a portable. It is a new desktop machine. What is it? We are combining the power of the Power Mac G4, the awesome power of this machine, with the desktop elegance, the silence, and the miniaturization that we learn from doing the IMAX to make a whole new class of machine. And so, we're starting with the G4 power. We're building in a really fast G4 chip into this new machine. We're building in the ability to have up to a gigabyte and a half of memory in the machine. We're building in the ability to have up to 40 gigabytes of storage inside the machine. We're adding I.O. for everything. A modem, 100 megabit per second ethernet, USB and firewire. You can hook up to almost anything with this machine. And airport wireless networking inside as well. Now I know some of you are saying, well, Looks like a mid-range Power Mac G4 to me. What's so new and special about this? Well, this is where we get in to the iMac magic. Because if this is the size of a Power Mac G4, we have miniaturized all that power into something this size. Okay? From this to this. And what we've miniaturized it into is an eight inch cube, an eight inch cube, unbelievable. Another way of looking at this is if this is the Power Mac G4 and you could break it into four equal parts, we have miniaturized all the power into just one of those parts, which is an eight inch cube, unbelievable. Now, you can imagine with all this power in such a dense space, we must need a turbofan to cool this thing. But no, our engineers have done some brilliant work, and all this power in an 8-inch cube has cooled without a fan. And so, it runs in virtual silence in an 8-inch cube. And we call this new product the Power Mac G4 Cube, or more affectionately, the G4 Cube. And I would like to show it to you now. Let's bring it out. This is a stunning product, quite possibly the most beautiful product we've ever designed. The computer is in an eight inch cube and it's suspended in a stunning crystal clear enclosure. There's also a slot load DVD drive, but where is it you ask? That's cool. In case you didn't see it. So everything is in there, very conveniently located to sit right next to you on your desk. Now, our engineers spent an enormous amount of energy figuring out how to get this amazingly powerful G4 technology into this 8-inch cube and to cool it without a fan. But they also spent an enormous amount of time figuring out how to get it out quickly. Because our pro customers like to get at every component in the system within a matter of a few seconds. So here's what we did. You can take your Power Mac G4 and simply turn it over. All right, let's get the video here. I want you to see this. You push down on this handle and it pops up and you literally lift all of the technology up. You have access. 
you have access to every single component. And when you're done, you just put it back in, pop down the handle to lock it in. We even have a Kensington lock to make sure you're the only one that opens your G4 cube. Pop it right back over, and you're in business. Pretty nice. Thank you. So, the G4 cube, it's amazing. DVD drive on the top. Amazing cooling system through a center channel that cools the whole thing with air so that it runs in virtual silence, the G4 Cube. And again, a size comparison with the Power Mac shows how small it really is. And just like the Power Mac allows you to access any component in seconds, so does the G4 Cube allow you to get at every component in just seconds. We're very, very proud of this. But we didn't stop there. We designed a whole system. And so we've worked with Harman Kardon to design a pair of Apple-designed stereo speakers that are gorgeous. And obviously, our new optical mouse and pro keyboard comes with the system as well. And the system is really beautiful. And for a system like this that's configured with a 450 megahertz G4, 64 mega memory, 20 gigabytes of storage, slot load DVD drive, Firewire and iMovie for this whole system, $17.99. And we have a second model that features a 500 megahertz G4 processor, 128 megabytes of memory, 30 gigs of hard storage, DVD-ROM, Firewire, iMovie, maybe the ultimate iMovie machine. And it's available for $22.99. And this is an Apple online store exclusive. So you can just go to the Apple online store and order this. All models are available in early August, just a few weeks away. Power Mac G4 Cube. We are so proud of this thing. So I got one last thing. Um, I got back to Apple, along with several other people, uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, what we found was uh, a great company that needed a little bit of help, a lot of incredibly talented people. And uh, as a matter of fact, while I'm on that, I would like all the folks from Apple that have been working on OS X and have been working on our internet stuff 